Hey, what's up? This is Unraveled Skyrim, and today I'm gonna be uh, testing out this new Age of Bronze mod. Um, it's not really new, but they just released uh, seven parts of the mod. Uh, right now, it is uh, just custom battles. I think there's only like seven factions, but I've been excited for this mod. Well, I won't say excited, but I've been looking forward to this mod quite a while. I do uh, think that the Bronze Age would have been a perfect um, time frame for a Total War game. Uh, maybe expansion, but these guys, they went ahead. I, I'm going to put a link to the uh, to the mod on Steam in the uh, description or in the comments, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, so you can play as the Trojans and Mycenae in Egypt. Um, let's see here. Uh, well, they have most of the factions um, uh, named, but there, there's only a, like a handful uh, you can play as. And I mean, uh, just from what I've seen from Sea Peoples. Oh, they have the Sea Peoples. That's kind of interesting. Um, I don't just go. I can't remember. I should have wrote down the ones that are uh, that are playable. Uh, Babylon. Uh, Babylon is that's pretty cool. Uh, Troy. We can be some uh, tr Trojans. Citadel noblemen. Trojan infantry. Farm levies. Bunch of uh, missile infantry. Be interesting to see how um, these chariots work. Um, Mycenae. Hmm. I'm gonna be the Mycene Mycenaeans versus the Trojans. Why not? And we're gonna do this on Ultra Funds and Nightmare Mode. No, <laughs> we're gonna do large armies though with um, Ultra Funds. Let's go ahead and. Oh, I like how the faction um, symbol is a um, a lion uh, for Mycenae. Uh, People who do not know the Mycenaeans were pretty much the the um, the most dominant Greek city um, back in the to 1400 BC to 1200 BC. Uh, change here. I'm gonna go with four per, per army. Chariot it up. So um, let's get these heavy swords. A bunch of these. I'm just gonna pick a bunch of units just to show them off Thessalian axemen light swords do those Let's just get four of each why not I'm gonna do the same thing with the other faction uh, pike infantry kind of want to see what those are let's get some of these heavy spears and let's get the rest like art like two archers two slingers Troy doesn't have nearly as many units to pick from, but they do have a lot of missile infantry compared to, um, uh, what's it called, uh, to the Mycenaeans. Let's go to get, let's get a bunch of these Citadel noblemen. They have an elite core of infantry. Let's get a bunch of Trojan infantry, some Axe infantry. Where are those dudes? Some noble swords. Uh, why not get a few of these and get some farm levies, slingers, tolling archers, javelin men, hunters, city archers, Trojan peltas. So let's take a look. All these kind of, Let's go ahead and use the warrior on both. Why not? Uh, we do have funds left, but uh, honestly, it's going to be good enough. Um, that's all right. We'll fight. Eh. Yeah, we'll fight in the desert. Why not? Defenders. Okay, let's go ahead and start this. Oh, I, cut, I do like the backgrounds. Um, um, I think the presentation with this mod so far is fine. Uh, this is in a review, by the way. I'm just showing a battle. Um... Were I to do a review on this mod, I would have to um, uh, show a lot more. Um, this is just going to be one battle. I just want to test out um, uh, Warrior Sparta. I think he's he made a few of these battles already. 
um, but that was earlier in the development of this mod. I don't know how exactly how far the developers are with this. Um, I mean, they only have they're only releasing uh, I don't know a handful of factions playable right now. So let's go ahead and see what these units look like. Um, let's see chariots. Go. Kind of looks cool. Let's go into cinematic. Guys, look. Pretty interesting. Ooh, I love that armor. That's actually historical. Uh, that's... Man, that looks pretty freaking awesome. Pretty historically ac uh, accurate. And look at these chariots. They actually look like... They're freaking cool. Man. I can't remember what that armor is called, but, um... I think it was made entirely of, um... Iron, not bronze. Um... That a suit of armor was discovered uh, looking just exactly like that so let's kind of um, sorry it's gonna take me a while I'm just gonna <laughs> look at these units so these are the Achean chariots right mouse is being stupid but, um, let's see here these are the Achean ones and these ones are looks like they're modeled after the uh, the um, Iceni chariots with javelins but not well, not all of them have. That, that must be the captain or something. But the what the hell? He's got a giant ass pike. Actually, that is historically accurate because they would have a pike. It's been depicted, and they have a diplon um, shield with the two holes cut in, um, in the center, allowing for flexibility and for them to um, to stab through with a spear uh, on a shield. Mycenaean swordsman these guys I do I do like the formation that the um, that's presented so it looks like pretty much a standard unit doesn't have that much um, uh, armor although it does have 75 armor <laughs> give that much let's see what are these these are Thessalian axemen so let's put them on this flank and mass them I don't know <laughs> let's see here Thessalian axemen let's I just want to take a uh, looks at these guys uh, man, that's a pretty cool looking shield so pretty standard low armor and they do have tusk helmets I do like seeing that Boar tusk helmets we these are light swords and look their swords they're actually bronze um, Mycenaean style swords that's what they looked like back in the day Really cool. Uh, let's take a look yes, at these chain heavy spearmen. Here, wow! Look at those helmets. Amazing. And that armor. Just look at that armor. It's just so, just so historically accurate and detailed. You can really tell that these guys put a lot of, little, a lot of time and effort into these units. He's a chain heavy swordsman. Guys, over here, we'll look at this one. Um, swordsmen. They're called swordsmen, but I see a few of them with axes. And it isn't a big deal, but <laughs> you'd think, you know, it's called a swordsman for a reason. Maybe they'll they'll split this unit and call it, make one another unit call them um, chain heavy axemen if they don't already. That's pretty much it with the infantry. Let's take a look. Actually, let's take a look at these pikemen. See how they operate. So they look pretty standard. This guy's brave. He's, he doesn't even have any armor on. It's like, I don't give a... It's like, I don't give a shit. Well, I guess we'll see. They'll probably pull out some spears when they're done. So I think that's pretty much all the forces. So let's arrange my guys. For some reason I gotta get a new mouse because my right my um my right button is sticking which is gonna be a huge problem in this game oh I, I guess I forgot to look at this unit let's see let's do that real quick light axes pretty standard looks like a cheap cheap unit but um let's put my pikeman in the center why not Oh, and we didn't look at these archers. Why not? Let's do that. 
light bows, and um, slingers, levy slingers. All right. Action! Someone's online Skype. I don't know if you can see that. Hope not. <laughs> Get someone's identity out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, all right. Let's hurry this battle up because I'm sure that's what mostly everyone here uh, is wanting to see. So put my my elite core in the center. Put these guys in the rear as reserve. Put these Thessalian axemen. I don't know. Balance bars actually in the center are pretty. I don't know. Pretty, pretty much equal. So, although it's, I'm fighting the AI, so if I get my ass kicked, then it's all my fault. And I do have a lot of chariots. Uh, I think I have four more. I had four more available than um. Uh, than the AI. So let's go ahead and make sure my guys are hard group. Yes, they are. I'm not crazy. Sometimes I, I put my guys in a hard group and it seems like it just takes them out of the way. Uh, takes them out of hard groups. Let's take a quick look at the Atoli at the, the Atoli Chariots, the, tr the Trojan units. Um, yeah, he said he's just floating. Um, but yeah, they look actually pretty freaking rough compared to my Achean ones. These guys actually have um, the blades on the sides, so they're kind of like side chariots. Take a look. Uh, this is the Citadel Nobleman. Very cool. Looking Eastern, uh, which is what the Trojans... If the Trojans did exist, um, they would have been more uh, more like the Hittites. Um, the uh, the ancient Greeks the the Achaeans I should say um, their tr their word for um, for the Trojans for Troy was um, Elam um, that's why the the, the uh, that's why it's called the Iliad because it is the war with Elam and um, the Hittite word for um, uh, Troy was uh, Walusa. Because I read, um, I actually posted a link to to this book by, um, I, think, I believe it was Barry Strauss. It's called The Trojan War. I read that a few years ago. I'd have to reread that because it's real. It really gives you a lot of information about just um, the Bronze Age in general. But look at all these units. Citadel Nobleman. There's another unit. Axe Infantry. These guys. This. Is, Gonna make so many epic videos Trojan infantry in purple and I'll, I like how they they do look very Eastern in appearance but let's go ahead and let's start this battle um, my units so, um, let's go ahead and meet these now to use like a uh, to use a few hero mods what the heck it just ruined my for formation oh well well, actually, I guess it did. I don't want to go over there. Here we go. Let's go here. Enemy's gonna meet me halfway. Kinda, kinda want to just put my whole entire army under AI control so I can just watch it. Let's take a look at the stats compared... Heroic Chariots compared to... Wow, their melee attacks a lot less. Weapon damage, 34, same thing. Charge bonus, slightly more. Melee defense, slightly more on the Tolian Chariots. Armor, a lot more on the Heroic Chariots. Health, base morale. Yeah, let's go and charge them. Going on this flank, same thing. I say let's engage them, why not? Take a look, I think I can... Well, they are bringing their their peltas up, but let's go ahead and watch. Watch this go into cinematic. Watch that clash. Start 
Our chairs are classic, and they're actually... Tell my units to run. They're actually gonna kill my archers. Charge order. Take a yeah, I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit to help myself out. And they actually do have pikes. I don't know if I kind of like this because pikes weren't developed for until um uh Philip the second of Macedon. I don't know if I like this unit. I don't understand why they put a pike unit like this. Cause it pikes weren't created until like 300 BC. Let's go ahead and let's counter charge. This unit got caught. Let's go. Yes. Let's, let's slow it down and let's take a look at some of the carnage and destruction that's going down in the center. So it looks like they're engaged with my pikemen, which are just poking them, and we can um, counter charge in the center. I still have it in slow down. Let's go ahead and not do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see what chariots do against infantry. Let's see what we're doing on the flanks, and they're actually um, killing my guys over there, so let's, let's engage them. Citadel Nobleman going to that flank. Let's go ahead and reinforce with two more of my chariots. And these guys can just shoot something. I don't know. My chariots through like this. Yeah, let's get all those uh, those river hunters. Let's see what they look like. Yeah, I'm losing frames, but um, that's a huge battle, so what do you expect? So they're running away. Wonder what a chariot strike would would be like. Let's get a close look and see what happens. Just tearing into their back lines. That's gonna route a lot of their units. Let's keep these chariots moving. Um, these guys, these guys don't die. These chariots? I didn't think I've killed any of the chariots. Although I think they did kill a unit of mine. It just went missing. So I'm keeping a lot of units in reserve. Let's get a charge over here. Where are these units? Let's get these guys in the back. Um, yeah, chariots? I don't know if they're really good at fighting each other. I mean, they're just standing there doing nothing. It's like, oh, nothing. <laughs> so I guess, uh, I mean, I don't know what the modders can do. I mean, these chariots are just standing out doing nothing. Kill. They're just shouting at each other. I mean, so I guess that's a glaring plop. Uh, problem, but that's just the game mechanics. I mean, I don't know what the modders can really do in that situation. Those light axes must got charged by. So I would imagine chariots would just be used um, um, as anti-infantry units. Chariots need to come back. I mean, not useful against. Let's get out of there. Let's reinforce that flank too. Might as well. Um, what's going on? I think they drove off my chariots, but they had taken a lot of, gotten a lot of kills. So let's go kill those dudes, slingers. Let's get over here. Um, we do have a lot of units in reserve. 
Yeah, let's, um, I don't know, let's help out these, these units over here. These guys can go in a hoplite wall, these Chi and Heavy Spearmen. Let's go into cinematic. Get 19 frames, 20 frames per second. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. I need I need to upgrade my RAM. I only have eight eight gigabytes. I need I need 16. I really do. Next paycheck, I swear. I, I always I always tell myself, like, next paycheck, gonna get some more RAM. Just never do it. Um, let's see here. Because my graphics card more than handle a game like this. But I want to make the, you know, the nice cinematic videos with um, good graphics and plenty of troops on the field. Here, let's just bypass this battle. I mean, they're not killing each other. <laughs> Let's let my chariots charge into there. Let's watch this. Oh, that's just cool. That's just cool, man. So we have Trojans fleeing from the field. I'm gonna get another ch ch uh, chariot charge and let's pull through. Gotta use the pull through a, a lot. Alright, we killed those guys. And let's go ahead and follow that up with the charge. And these chariots are just gonna smack down these these peltas, these um these hunters. Take that boy. Let's turn around. And let's just smack down the center once again. Let's follow those guys. And just listen to them. Wow. I wonder what... I mean... I wonder what a um, Bronze Age battle would actually look like. Would, was it to this scale? Um, you know, thousands upon thousands of men take, you know, fighting each other. Now, we do have this unit of, um, Atolian chariots coming out on us. I mean, but they're gonna charge through their own men. That's crazy. I don't think in real life they would ever do that, because you don't want to trample down your own men. But, um, looks like that guy's dying. Go ahead and reform that unit. Yeah, it looks like we've won on the flank, so let's bring those units over. And I think my game is starting to not being as laggy now, so it's gonna start to speed up. Let's get some close-ups. There's a lot of dead in the center. 